We did this. We did this. This is our seat. It was a celebration in Bloomfield for Sarah and Amarado and progressive candidates in Western Pennsylvania. She secured the Democratic nomination for county executive. Her campaign follows recent wins for left candidates like Pittsburgh Mayor Ed Ganey and U.S. House Representative Summer Lee. We brought together everyday people from That's all right. backgrounds That's right. who are ready to build a county government that works for them. And Amarado captured 38% of the vote in a field of six candidates, followed by John Weinstein, Michael Lamb, and Dave Fawcett. Weinstein offered this thought as he conceded the race last night. There were too many white men running in this race, and that's the reality of this. I agree. Um, Hallelujah. So I, uh, I congratulate the Sarah for winning the race. We're about 10 or 12,000 votes behind her. Uh, but if you, if you look at the other men that are in this race, uh, it just chops up the vote too much. And Amarato will face Republican Joe Rocky in the general election. And in November, we're set to see a rematch in the race for the county's top prosecutor. Basically, it's halftime. Incumbent District Attorney Stephen Zapala with a projected loss in the primary race to Matt Dugan, currently the county's top public defender. That vote 56 to 44 percent in favor of Dugan. But Zapala said last night the Republican Party has decided to make him its nominee. There was no Republican on the ballot. Zapala didn't explicitly accept that nomination, but spoke with optimism about the general election. Dugan's reaction? So, you know, people favor criminal justice reform. So I feel confident that our message will carry through um, in November if it goes that far. And yeah, and we're not going to stop working. Tom Garris, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. The Highland School District had 11 candidates vying for five school board seats in yesterday's election, including 18-year-old Eli Majoka, a senior at Highland High School. Majoka won the nomination on the Democratic ticket, earning 383 votes. He also secured the Republican nomination with 296 votes. And ahead of 1230, we will take a look at some of the other races from last night's primary election, including Allegheny County Treasurer and the Green County District Attorney. You can find full coverage of all of the key races on our website, WTAE.com, and of course, the free WTAE mobile app.